suspect we will be reviewing many policies and procedures across time. While having this discussion, uh, Ken had a great point and a great suggestion. So before jumping into uh, a conversation about the intelligent assessment database, I just think Ken would be willing to share uh, a recommendation. We have discussed, and, and Captain Isabel is here for the police department, what training was given to our police officers regarding the PCPRA and, and what their obligations were under it. Because it's one thing to have an ordinance, it's another thing to the people on the job know what they're supposed to do. Yeah, you're supposed to know everything, but new things come along, you need to go into it. And two, was it a training block within the last academy to let the new people know? Because they're going to learn from the senior officers. And if the senior officers don't really know exactly what it is that they're supposed to do under that, they're not going to get the right information. Probably still exists today, like it was when I came on the job. And it was okay, you get everything to work with the police academy. This is really how it works. And, but there should be training within the academy for new people, but there should be training on the new officers who have a job. As to, the only way to get them to comply is if they know what it is they have to do. That's, that's the discussion we had because, again, last time it was brought up, they came up with the, the gang policy. But we never got a copy of the policy and we're supposed to get a copy of the policies for review so we can have input into it. And, you know, we didn't know about it. I went on the website, looked at all the policies. I don't see a specific policy on the website that addresses the PCPR. Or even the what era, what our function is going to be within the discipline. That was a discussion. I don't know if, if I can address it directly with Captain Isabella or we have to. We're also going to make a recommendation that we address it to the Chief Commissioner as to what was done. If I could just comment at this point, I can interject uh, again with respect to this uh, agenda item number four uh, discussion relative to violence police policies to be reviewed by PARA. Um, I, in reviewing this agenda item, um, and, and some of the, the relevant cases on the Open Meetings Act, I think there might be some issues with respect to the notice uh, that was provided to the public here. Um, in reading this, I interpreted it, without knowing what was gonna be discussed tonight, I interpreted it as uh, overarching policies that were gonna be discussed at some point in the future uh, for this board, as opposed to having a specific discussion about individual policies. Uh, I'm not looking for a discussion of the policy, I just wanna know does it exist? Does it exist yes or no, I guess. Because then we can't address it. If it doesn't exist, we have nothing to address. We have to address the fact that it doesn't exist. Okay. But the but, view of the policy. But do, does it exist? And if it does, how do we get it? Okay, that's fine. If, that, I, if that's different. I, I would just caution the, the board with having a substantive discussion about a specific policy because it's not specifically on the agenda. What you can do is if you want to vote, to amend the agenda to have a discussion on that particular and you can do that, you just can't take any votes on, on that this evening. That's all. I'd actually make, like to make a motion that hopefully will clear up some of the questions that we have about who's putting policies out and us not reviewing them. So I'm going to make a motion that all province police department policies that are applicable to the province community police relations act be provided to PARA and the community for a 30 day review period prior to being published on the website of the Tobacco. It's not on the agenda. It's not on the agenda, but I can't make a motion respect to just general policies. No, that's right. No, that's right. I know this. Okay, I'm sorry. He is correct. You would have to have a discussion and or possible vote something telling the public that you're going to be voting on something. Currently, to include that question. Right, because you can't take a vote on every discussion, but you can't take a vote on So we need to have a talk about discussion about emotions. Before you walk in the casino, think about picking up a chip before you get a dollar. Okay, that's how it's been.
Justice, please identify yourself. Okay. Uh, Justice Gaines, I'm with the uh, president of the CSA team. Um, thank you for that. Also, in terms of discussing police policies, you wrote on the agenda that you'll be discussing province police policies, and thus you can discuss, even if you can't vote on anything specific, you can discuss province police policies, because that was on the agenda, and as a member of the public, that's what I read. Second, I would love to hear what the police uh, representatives here answer is to uh, Ken's question. So, Dean Isabella, I'm a captain of the Providence Police Department. So we do train, train our new in. We have a training course to have all of the officers currently in Providence Police Department and familiar with the rules and regulations of the ordinance. So that was the first part of the question. So they all have been trained in that. There's also a refresher course for specific parts of the policy as they come up uh, in different policies. The PCPRA is not one uh, addressed in one policy. As the parts of the policy come up in different policies, like use of force, what is required in the PCPRA, that's included in the use of force policy, and so on and so on. So there are. It's addressed specifically in the policies where it's brought up as, a, as an issue that needs to be addressed by the ordinance. As far as the new folks that are coming on the province police department, they've all received training in the academy on PCPR. So they're familiar. They understand the reporting requirements, what they need to do for certain stops, and, uh, and so on and so forth. Questions for the captain? You can look at a law and say, okay, it's in the law, that's so what we have to do, but we still create a policy that goes through it and maybe is clear in referencing what policy refers to the portion of the PCPRA, as opposed to his use of force policy and in a classroom setting, refer to it, but from the public standpoint, from our standpoint, if we get questioned on it, PCPRA was violated because of X, Y, and Z. It's not easy to find something that directly relates to it on the website. Directly, you have to read. You have to A, know individual policy and which policy to look in, and B, now you have to go back and look at the PCPRA to see, is it, so it's, a back, it's, it's not an easy find in order to do it. it you know, that, that was my question, because that's, even for us, that I, I was at a job. Even for me, looking through them, I'm going, okay, it's, there's nothing referencing it. I mean, per se. I think I think that you're not going to be able to fix that because if you have a policy just strictly to the PCPRA, you still need to refer it back to the actions of the officer and the policies that cover those actions. So, I mean, it's, 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 domestic violence. We, the domestic violence law comes up. We have a policy on following the domestic violence, domestic, domestic violence law, correct? Correct. It's a specific policy, not that it's included within, okay, here's a policy on, on arrest, whatever it is, and within that one singular policy, we make reference only one part of the domestic violence law, and another part make reference something else. That, that was my question as to, and, and maybe for us going down the road to recommend it be a specific directed to PCPR and directed to the role of para because yes, there is a policy in reference to submitting complaints and internal investigations. There's really no referencing the role of para at all. And what is the role of para going to be in the police department state? Or even referencing police departments, police officers cooperation or lack of cooperation, whatever it's going to be, if it comes to the point of a power investigation. Um, Shana Carlinos um, from the Community Lawyer Prism. And um, yeah, I want to echo, I think what Ken said is really important. The, um, I spend a lot of time looking at po police, the Providence Police Department policies myself and, and addressing them and everything. And I think one thing that's really clearly happens, there's that system where the policy, when the policy is promulgated, and it goes to all personnel, what it means is that everybody gets, I don't know if it's an email link or what, and all they basically have to do is open the link and click, and you're done. 
And I mean, I'm not, I mean, we all, I'm sure no one in this room ever does that and, you know, clips the link at the end and okay, I'm done. But it's a human nature kind of thing. You're in a hurry, you kind of work through it and that's what happens. So that doesn't give folks a good education. And I think especially in the case of all the different implications that came up with the CSA, the, um, there's so much, and there was so much misinformation about it too, that I honestly believe a huge number of the officers on the street do just simply do not understand the provisions of it. And so it's not even an issue want to follow it, don't want to follow it, but honestly don't know what most of the provisions are. Like I've asked people, what about those receipts that you're supposed to give out starting last June 1st? And they really honestly, like everyone I've ever asked, what receipts? They just do not know about them, which that's not the fault of the officer on the street. That's the fault of management. That's the fault of administration for not coming up with a better way to show people that. So that's one thing. There's then this whole other issue about sort of on the creation of policy. I do agree with um, Captain Isabella though that it's multiple policies, and so it'd be good to look at like what's the overall training package that has to happen because of the CSA that didn't happen. Now, what two years later? Three, three? No, two. Two years later. Then there's this other big issue around what happens with the creation of the policies. Um, that are supposed to go to para for review, um, you know, should and and I guess haven't been from what I can see. And when we get, if we get into more detail on that, one particular policy that is blatantly illegal, which is that gang database policy that is amazingly illegal and unconstitutional, by the way, we'll see what the federal court has to say about it starting well, hopefully in a couple hours from now, um, uh, because that is the subject of a federal lawsuit, or shall be shortly, um, um, within a few hours. So um, yeah, so there's, I mean, there's big issues definitely around just the that issue end of the policies too, but I think the training, how officers actually get to know what the policies are becoming is critically important too. Thank you so much, Justice. Justice Gaines again. Um, speaking also to your issue, because um, I have gone through the website and tried to find all of the policies relevant to the CSA, and I've done a decent job, um, but I think one thing for the public would be if those policies were searchable. So if you could go on the city website, search up police use of force and easily find it, which is literally almost, you have to just go to the, all the, the 300 links and just look through them essentially, right? Um, the other thing is that while I agree it is uh, with Shauna and you as well, that they are, the PCPRA is relevant to different policies, there can be a memo that specifically lays out what policies from the CSA are relevant to officers training. That can be a memo that can be easily findable and can reference your specific policies in line with the CSA. So I don't know if that would be something that PARA could recommend to the police and to the city in terms of the website, um, but those are things. Also, I would love, because I think we have to, you can ask questions, but we're not supposed to ask questions of each other. I don't know what the policy is. But um, I would love to hear from uh, the city solicitor's office what the uh, status is of the uh, intelligent assessment database and general order 36010 which does have a legal criteria in it um, because we have been in contact with the office and I personally have not heard update but I would love to hear what the status is of the illegal database. I'm here in a capacity to advise the board as to OMA not to comment on any other pending legal matters. That's not a legal matter. Is it? Is it pending yet? Is it a pending legal matter? Not yet. It's not a pending legal matter. It's just, it's, legal matter. Matter. it's just it's a public policy, and so you actually can't comment on it. There's no lawsuit yet. It's not litigation. I'm not here in that capacity. Sorry. Fascinating. Well, who can? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, yes, sorry. Tina Shepard. Um, just a few things. Would it make it easier if we, for now, on the department's website, because right now I guess somebody did add the Province Community Police Relations Act and they put the ordinate, uh, couple of things down there. If we were to put all of the general orders related to the PCPR in that, under that title, so when folks are looking, they can find like that. So that way it makes it a little bit more easier for you to find what you're looking for. Um, the other thing is, Para, you have a website off of ours, so it might be good for you guys to just take that over and man that um, as your own web link on the city's website. You don't want them touching your website. What do you mean off of your website? So when I started last summer, the Para wasn't even listed anywhere on the website. So I had the IT person put it there so people would know about it. No. I haven't touched it. 
No, I haven't touched it. I did it as tried to help to get the word out that Para existed. But she just put it up there. So you would have to just contact Bonnie and have her. Are, are you talking about providencerri.gov slash Para? But wherever, every department in the city's website, yeah. if you go. Just have her take the link so that you can have your own section. You know what sure. I mean? Yeah. So, um, and then I just got a question. I'm not sure if you'll be able to answer. <coughs> Um, just for clarity for me, because sometimes I help with the reporting, the quarterly reporting. Um, I know there's a question about submitting the policies for review, um, but in the ordinance, I, I'm not sure if does it state that it needs to, it doesn't state it has to go first, it stated that it had to go online. So that's the discrepancy in the ordinance, not from ours, it, because it was the way it was worded in the ordinance. It didn't say that Perry needed to review it before it was put out publicly. So that would be a conversation that you would have to have with the commissioner to 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 have that change. Because we have no problem doing that. It's just we didn't know about that. Um, yeah, if you can't answer, if you're just here to advise to to advise the board, and we can't ask you questions, what are you doing here? Because that doesn't even make no sense. Oh, you're, saying, you're hearing just one. You're hearing just one capacity. No, it's more than it's, it's more than that that's going on here, and you can see that, and you know that. So what? So what sense does it make for you to be here unless unless you're going to have someone else here to answer the questions that either you don't want to or that you that you can't answer or not supposed to answer? Because we need. We're here to get answers. You know what I'm saying? We're here to start something, you know, that is for the community, and and and, and folks want to know, you know, what's going to happen, and, and 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 what the whole deal is. They're not here to talk about, uh, well, I can't answer that. And we're not trying to hear that. That's something we're trying to hear. 